This is the final video in our challenge to do over 50 must-do things on Ishigaki Island in only 4 days. We have had so many adventures and met so many unique locals. But will we hit all 50 things to do? Come along and find out! Like this video and share it with someone who needs to go! Did you know? A&W only has branches in Okinawa, not in mainland Japan. That is why a root beer float is such a rare treat. After getting my fill of root beer, we decided to get treats and souvenirs at the nearby Yugurena Mall, nearby the main hub of Ishigaki City. Gifting trip souvenirs is important in Japanese culture, so there are a lot of stores with snacks and trinkets. It's like all the souvenirs that you can buy are like in one wall so even if it's very hot or even if it's raining you can go and buy at least some souvenirs for before you go home and it's definitely cheaper than going and buying that stuff at the airport i bought a lot <laughs> found the vending machine that has pineapple and mango and goat soup <laughs> and goat meat in case you wanted to try some goat sashimi so yeah, anything you can get out of the vending machine including goats so in Tokyo there is a big gyukatsu boom right now and people will line up for an hour but what no one knows is that there is actually an Ishigaki Gyukatsu here that uses Wagyu, so Japanese prime beef in their katsu. I, I gotta try that out. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, this is the poshest Japanese Wagyu prime beef katsu I've ever had and I will have. And the director is getting one too. I'm gonna nap some of the director's stuff now. All right, this one looks great too. Let's cook up this one. This is a little bit more done. Oh, this is misaki beef. Eight. We have come to the Shisa factory. If you know what a Shisa is, or if you don't know what a Shisa is, you're in for a treat here because Shisa are guardian spirits of Okinawa. Usually in front of the door, you have on the left and on the right a male and a female Shisa who's supposed to protect you. Now they're usually not this big and they're usually <laughs> outside of the house and not in a park so we've actually come to the shisa factory where they make these ones in big sizes and in small sizes let's go have a look around So this area is also called a power spot of Ishikakejima. And if you look at the faces of the Shisa, they look scary at once. And that's because they're supposed to protect you from bad things coming into your house. But if you look at these ones closely, they make you smile. They have a lot of color. So there's also that thing that makes you happy at the same time. At the Shisa factory, the locals create the Shisa guardians meticulously by hand to bring happiness to many people. There are quality control checks that make sure that every Shisa leaving the factory is going to be perfect. On the other side of the street, at the store, you can purchase a Shisa that catches your heart. There is 
a mermaid. Come on, 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 but right now it's jungle. Eh? Eh? How? We climbed down a coral reef, but we got told this is the right path, so. Oh, yes! We found it! It's a little secret beach! So, is Ishigaki Island worth visiting? Let me summarize it for you. First, the flight. You can get there with a direct flight from Tokyo Narita Airport on budget airlines for as cheap as $100 to $200 both ways. Now for getting around, there are buses that can take you to the center and you can rent a car like we did or rent a taxi. You can go almost anywhere on the island because it's quite small. Stay. If you have a car, you can make use of cheaper accommodation away from the center and really make your budget stretch. Finally, we can also recommend you book extra boat trips to the surrounding islands for change of scenery and that real island feeling like Kuroshima Island. For five days and four nights for two people, including all the attractions we did, we had a budget of about $2,500, including all of our flights and foods in off season. So it was definitely worth it, for sure. If you missed any of the videos in this series, I can highly recommend you go back and watch for that extra holiday feeling. And please go and share this video right now with someone who needs to go there. We love Ishigaki!